let's study about oxidation number so what is oxidation number think about that at the time of the formation of compounds some elements released electron to form the positive ions and some elements accept or receive the electrons to form negative ions that number of electrons of that element is known as oxidation number so we can say simply that the number of electron released to form positive ions and the number of electrons received to form a negative ions is called the oxidation number now we need to find out uh, what is the oxidation number of an element in a compound to understand that completely we need to follow some rules it's not much tough but it's very easy to, to understand that what are the rules and how to find the oxidation number of an elements from the compounds so there are some nine rules that we must follow and we need to understand completely so that we can find the oxidation number and also this is very basic questions that what are the difference between oxidation number and the valency so I'll upload a different classes on that what is the difference between the oxidation number and valency let's see about these rules number one we know about the metal and non-metal so in the periodic table group number one two and three you know that these groups which is at least in the left side leftmost side is a metal and the other part like group number 16 15 17 these are the non-metal so the metal groups or the metals their oxidation number should be positive it is positive because of what because of they usually they usually released electron like very known that sodium we know it sodium released one electron and then it forms sodium plus usually you see that magnesium usually released two electrons and it produced magnesium 2 plus why because from the atomic number we know that sodium is the group 1 element and magnesium is the group 2 elements and we also know that in sodium the outermost shell has one electron and this magnesium will have two electrons and when they will release this they will have the stable electron configuration like their corresponding inert gases so like aluminium aluminium will form aluminium 3 plus so that plus is actually the oxidation number because this plus denotes that what amount of electrons it released so this single plus means one electron released this two plus means two electron was released and this three plus so we can say that sodium's its oxidation number is plus one magnesium plus two aluminium plus three so usually the metals these are metals they will have the oxidation number which is positive but in similarly we need to know that non-metal is negative like like you see that group number 17 fluorine chlorine bromine iodine these are usually known as halogen and also there are also acetating so usually these elements are very common so all these elements always accept one electron why because all they have in their outermost shell they have only seven electrons and so they need one electron to get the valence octet shells like their inner gases so as they are all accepting one electron each so the oxidation number of these elements would be minus one okay so we need to know that metal is positive and non-metal is negative neutral or free element what is this neutral or free element is zero now i'm going to explain something important which is very relevant with the third one you can see that second and third one is most likely similar how that you see that neutral and free element oxidation will be zero and also the neutral compound is zero how think about that hydrogen and oxygen when they are forming 
they will produce water okay fine now you think the oxidation number even you can say that hydrogen and chlorine formed hydrogen chloride okay now you think that neutral element or free element oxidation number should be zero so here the oxidation number of these element that is free element hydrogen chlorine oxygen hydrogen both all are free so that is why everyone's oxidation number is zero and the third one is the neutral compound should be zero and that is the main part now you think that oxygen we know that we will come to that part that oxygen will accept two electrons because it's in group number 16 so the oxidation number of oxygen is usually minus 2 minus 2 but in, in case of 9 number rules we are having some different things oxygen is always minus 2 so if we can say that the neutral compound total oxidation number is 0 so we say that this is minus 2 so these two hydrogen should be plus 2 as because it has two hydrogen in one molecule of water so one hydrogen is plus one so it means two hydrogen together plus two and you see the summation of plus two and minus two is always zero so we see that when hydrogen was alone and oxygen was alone in both cases the oxidation number of both elements is zero but when the form compounds together again the total summations of the oxidation number is again zero so number two and three and this is the most important case to understand that the neutral compounds would be zero i'm coming up with these things charged ion in case of charged ion the oxidation number is equal to their charge think about the radicals that you studied so in case of radicals can you remember the name of the radicals like ammonium plus it means the oxidation number of ammonium together is plus one in case of phosphonium ph4 plus ph4 plus here also the oxidation number of phosphonium is plus one in case of hydroxyl do you remember that hydroxyl is OH minus? So the oxidation number is minus one. Can you remember sulfate? SO4 2 minus. So its charge is 2 minus. That is why the oxidation number of sulfate is minus 2. So it would be minus 2. Can you remember phosphate? PO4 PO4 3 minus. So it would be minus 3. So you think about it. So in the fourth number also is the charged ions. Actually, these are the radicals. The charged ion. So I'm just giving you a simple idea because I have already uploaded a video on radicals you know, with their properties and also their valencies. So here ammonium plus one, phosphonium plus one, hydroxyl minus one, sulfate minus two, and phosphate minus three, because that is actually the charged ion numbers. 5 alkali metal plus 1 alkaline earth metal plus 2 why because can you remember the periodic table group number 1 how many elements are there 7 and in case of group 6 oh, sorry group number 2 6 elements can you remember that hydrogen these are the group 1 elements so hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, francium, all are alkali metal. And these are group number one. So as they are having group number one, their oxidation number is plus one. And in group number two, group number two, if you remember, This is beryllium, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, strontium, barium, and rhodium. These are alkaline earth metal. So you know that the oxidation number of these elements would be plus two. 
as because they have two electrons in their outermost shell so they will definitely release two electrons when they will form on compounds so it's plus two and this is plus one and this is group number uh, I mean rules number five and six now you think in case of metal halide when metal halide will form they will form halogen and that is minus one metal halide means what metal means these are the metal now think about the halogen suppose fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so these are these are the halogens now you think if these metals is formed compounds with each halogen what will be the compounds lithium fluoride lithium chloride lithium bromide lithium iodide similarly sodium or potassium potassium fluoride potassium chloride potassium bromide potassium iodide similarly if you say that magnesium fluoride magnesium chloride calcium bromide calcium iodide barium chloride barium bromide barium iodide so these are the common compounds when it will form like simply you think about that potassium and bromine so they are forming potassium bromide or usually you can say that potassium iodide so these are very known compounds that we know so in this case what will happen we know that in case of potassium it will definitely plus one as because we just have alkali metals is plus one in case of iodine it is minus one and it said that when they will form a metal halide then all the halogens should have minus one and I just said it earlier in group number 17 they are waiting for except a single electrons then they will form uh, compounds and the oxidation number is minus one that's simply and if magnesium fluoride magnesium fluoride if it is the compounds then we know that magnesium will have plus two so simply fluorine will have minus two as because in a, it's a compound and in this compound the total oxidation number should be zero so it would be zero and this is zero now you think that there are two fluorine atoms in magnesium fluoride molecules so it has two it has two atoms it means the total oxidation number is minus two so one fluorine is minus one fluorine is minus one so that is why halogen is minus one in case of metal hydride this is very important usually hydrogens oxidation number is plus one but in case of metal hydride like sodium hydride like calcium hydride like lithium aluminium hydride what is the thing like lithium aluminium hydride this is another hydride so sodium hydride calcium hydride so in this case this is different hydride in case of hydride molecules the oxidation number of hydrogen is minus one but usually in all cases hydrogen's oxidation number is plus one now you see lithium is plus one as it is group number one so alkali metal plus one and we know that aluminium will also release like you know group as plus three so here three and one is four so hydrogen here four so it should be minus four and together you see that this summation is actually zero now you think this minus four is the total oxidation number of four hydrogen atom and that is why the one hydrogen will have minus one similarly here also sodium plus one hydrogen minus one calcium plus two hydrogen minus two as it has two atoms so one hydrogen is minus one okay so it's easier I hope you understand it and then another interesting thing is coming that is about oxygen we know in case of oxygen the oxidation number of oxygen is usually minus two 
as it will accept two electrons but in some cases like in case of peroxides or superoxide it's two different type of oxide we know there are some different oxides we have to study it like acidic oxide basic oxide neutral oxide like superoxide peroxide and we have also polyoxides and these type of oxides are common so when we see that peroxides peroxides what are the formula of peroxide? We usually know, which is very common, that is hydrogen peroxide. Okay? So, you know, even we know that sodium peroxide. So, in this case, you see what are the oxidation number of oxygen. Here we see that in case of hydrogen, hydrogen is always plus one. In case, not above, except hydride. So, it's plus two. So, as the total number of a compound is zero, so it should be minus two. Now, you see the two oxygen atom will have total minus two. So, one oxygen is minus one. So, in case of peroxide, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus one. But in case of superoxide, you know some superoxide, like potassium superoxide. You know that what is the normal formula of potassium oxide is K2O. This is potassium oxide. Very simple. Like potassium plus 2, oxygen minus 2. This is normal. But in case of potassium superoxide, the formula is KO2. This is the formula of potassium superoxide. Now you think about potassium that is plus 1. So it should be, in case of oxygen, minus 1. Now you see it has two oxygen atoms where the oxidation number is minus 1. So as it's two atoms is minus 1, so together it would be minus half. That means two oxygen atoms together minus half and minus half will create minus 1. So as it has two oxygen atoms, and the oxidation number is minus 1, so it's half, minus half. So usually in case of superoxide, the oxidation number of oxygen is minus half. And in case of peroxide, is minus 1. So I hope the explanation is pretty clear for you. Now it's time to start another thing. If you understand it, then there are some compounds that would be in front of you to find out the the oxidation number of an underlined uh, element like what think about some some sort of critical thing like in case of potassium dichromate so the potassium dichromate is k2 cr 2 o7 if the question is what is the oxidation number of chromium then we easily find it out that simply that potassium is plus one we know but it has two potassium atoms so it will be plus two and we know that in case of oxygen it's minus two so it has seven so together it's minus 14 so what should be the possible integers in between these numbers to make it zero as we know that the neutral compounds is 0, so it should be plus 12. So as it is plus 12, so it has 2 chromium. So 1 chromium, 1 chromium is plus 6. This is very simple. But in case of doing it in the exam paper, there are some criteria. Like what? Like we can say that let, let, Think about the oxidation number of chromium is X. We know that the potassium is plus 1, oxygen is minus 2. So accordingly, as a neutral compound's oxidation number is 0, I'm talking about the exam paper, then we can say that, okay, potassium is plus 1 times 2 plus chromium is X times 2 plus oxygen is minus 2 times 7 and this is altogether 0. These are the equations of this. 
So you can say that this is 2 plus 2x and then you can say this is minus 14 equals 0. Now you see plus 2 minus 14. So you can say that 2x minus 12 equals 0. So you can say 2x is 12 so x is plus 6. So as we did like chromium is x so now we can say the oxidation number of chromium is plus 6. Okay? Do you really understand? This is easy. And think about potassium permanganate. K M N O 4. In these compounds, we know that potassium would be plus 1. As usual, oxygen is minus 2. So 4 oxygen atom will be minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 is minus 8. So what should be the possible integer in this, in this between two integers to make it 0? That is plus 7. So if you add it, it will be 0 together. So as it is only one magnesium, we can say that in case of magnesium, the oxidation number is plus 7. And that is the oxidation number of magnesium. Even in case of like hydrogen peroxides, or I, I just said it earlier, in case of other elements, whatever, in case of other elements like ammonia, in case of ammonia, think about ammonia. So nitrogen will be plus 3, and hydrogen is minus 3. So as it is hydride, so it will be like minus 1. Okay, in case of hydride. So potassium permanganate, potassium dichromate, if any other type of uh, compounds are given to you to find out the oxidation number, just follow these rules. Just follow these rules in case of metals, positive, non-metal, negative, neutral elements, zero, total compounds, total neutral compounds, zero, charged ion is equal to their charge, alkali plus one, alkaline earth metal plus 2, halide in case of halide, halogens minus 1, in case of hydride minus 1, hydrogen minus 1, and peroxide minus 1, oxygen, and superoxide minus half. So, this is all about the oxidation number and I'm coming up with the next video with the difference between oxidation number and the valency. So, see you soon with the next video. Stay blessed. Take care.